In Black Panther Wakanda Forever, the Talakane all prove themselves to be not only skilled fighters in the ocean, but also exceptional fighters on land, even though they can't breathe air. This is made especially clear during Okoye's fierce battle with Atuma on the bridge in Boston. Generally speaking, the Dora Milaje wiped the floor with all kinds of adversaries, including super soldiers. However, Atuma's victory over Okoye in their first fight is shockingly decisive. Although she beats him in a rematch, the Talokan's incredible skill is still firmly established. Namor's fighting abilities can be chalked up to his status as an amphibious mutant, but that isn't the case with his blue-skinned people. So how did they become such good fighters on dry land? This is a people who have managed to stay hidden from the surface world for centuries. Why are they so well prepared to take land dwellers on if for generations there's been no need to do so? The end of Black Panther Wakanda Forever implies we'll be seeing a lot more of Namor and his people in the MCU. Maybe then we'll learn how these underwater people got so good at fighting in the open air.